Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we're going to be reacting to The Vampire Diaries Season 3 Episode 18. Last episode, White Oak. It was all about the White Oak. So we want to kill an original. We need a White Oak tree. They're all gone. Or are they? They're not. There was another. It was tore down. It was used to build the old bridge. We then had Sage show back up. My beautiful redhead. We did not get the sandwich I was promised between her and Damon and Rebecca broke my heart, but Sage did tell Rebecca all about the White Oak Bridge. She burned it all, but guess who forgot to bring the sign earlier in the episode? My man Alaric, which Alaric is a whole nother mess. He's, you know, got some sort of dark side coming out because of the ring, needs some magic to help that. It's crazy, but back to the sign. So the sign was never brought to the bridge. And the sign is made out of white oak and Damon has it and he knew he was going to be able to get it. He played it off so damn well. Damon, one of my favorite fictional characters, definitely maybe my second or third favorite vampire in anything. Not in order, but it's going to be Lestat, Interview with a Vampire, Damon, Vampire Diaries, and who was it? Who else would be top three? Maybe Gary Oldman, Bram Stoker's Dracula? Possibly, maybe. Could also be Radu from Subspecies. If you haven't seen the Subspecies movies, it's completely <laughs> different than Vampire Diaries. It is B-movie, gore, horror, schlock. But it's pretty dark and it's pretty crazy and Radu is is a evil vampire through and through and I love him. Back to Vampire Diaries, sorry. I I love vampires. I'm really into vampire lore and mythology. And that might be why I enjoy this show so damn much because I, I, I just love the concept of vampires who live forever, have to integrate in human society and how they evolve and change from humans to predators and the the hunger they have that kind of drives everything they do and them trying to overcome that hunger, bring their humanity out, suppress the beast. It's fascinating, fascinating. It makes for great TV show, great writing, great role playing books. Uh, it's just fantastic. But yeah, so uh, Damon now has White Oak and Stefan knows and Stefan is trying his hardest to like I said previously, come back to his humanity and suppress his beast. But his desire for blood is just so intense. But I think he's slowly getting it under control. He has the help of his brother, which he's never had before. And I do think that is a deciding factor. But yeah, let's just let's just get into this episode. We are going to be finishing season three this month in September. So that's what, five episodes? We're gonna be watching five episodes this month. We may even start season four. It really depends on how crazy the season finale is. I have been told without any spoilers, it is fantastic. So uh, yeah, just gotta see. So yeah, let's just get into this. I'm kind of excited, can you tell? I'm excited. Let's get into this episode, but before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe, Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega, let's get into it. Here we go. Walking up the stairs, knocking on the door. <laughs> Morning, sunshine. Hey, how's Alaric? Indecent, but fine. So then does that mean there was no issues last night? Nope, slept like a baby. Woke up Alaric. No headlines about dead council members. Then why do I feel like you're hiding something from me? Because I am. Well, maybe because you're paying off. Obviously. You're annoyed and control freaky. Vampire Hunters in full effect. Damn, they're making a lot of them. I like it. This needs to have a sharper point. Got it. Finally, everyone stakes to kill an original. I'm not going to miss because you can't whittle. You said I got it. <laughs> Micromanaging. Why not make white oak bullets? Here's your ring, Rick. Put it on. That ring is the reason I've killed Yes, you. it is. It's also the reason you're alive. You're going vampire hunting, Rick. Wear it. Yeah. Yeah. Lose a little more of your humanity. Just don't die. You'll be fine. 
Lark Saltzman killed my father. He's a victim of something supernatural. He didn't ask for this. It just happened to him, just like Bonnie's mom. I mean, she didn't ask to become a vampire, and neither did Stefan or Tyler or me. Or you. But who would I be if I just you didn't, turned my yeah. back on any of you? That's <laughs> what happens when you're friends with only monsters. <laughs> Except for Matt. Hey, hey speaking what's of. What's with the uh, cryptic secret meeting text? <laughs> I don't know. Stefan just said to meet here. Who is Bonnie? Texted her, too. Uh, Bonnie's mom bailed on her. Again. again so yeah. I think we should leave her out of this one. You have a weapon that can kill Klaus? Nope. We all have a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Klaus has always been one step ahead of us. But now we have the advantage. We're all armed, and they are all linked, meaning we only need to kill one of them. We need to seize the best opportunity, which means we need to prepare for every opportunity. Rebecca is our target, so we distract her and catch her off guard. To do that, we need to keep Klaus separate and occupied. Caroline? Why do I always have to be Klaus bait? Because <laughs> he's obsessed with you. Yes, he is. Right now. Because you're, you're perfect. Rebecca. We'll use the quarterback to distract her. Just keep her talking. How? Oh, Act interested. She's lonely. Desperate. Really? She slept with you. That's mean. <laughs> Beefcake holds a bombshell. I come up from behind her, grab her arms like this. Ow! Gives me time for one shot. Got it? Good. Gather your witch. Let's get his blood and get on with it. You can't force me to help you. No, I most likely could. Or I force when I can persuade. Hello, Sage. Does he really love you? Hello, Finn. Or does he really not give a shit? Sweet. What do you know? True love prevails. Love's in the air. It does occasionally have its uses. Easier than torturing him. Where are you going? I have some unfinished business with Damon Salvatore. I'll say what he did to me. Then you'll understand my retribution is in order. Gave you the best night of your life in a thousand years? Is that what he did to you? Oh! Hello, lover. Hello, lover. Was it good for you? <laughs> oh! I found him in the shed. Bear trap? What kind of monster would trap a poor defenseless animal? Maybe fox or wolf? Gotta admit, even for me, it's a little kid. It is a little you kinky. Pretended to be interested in me. We're in a Nine Inch Nails video. And you slept with me. Yes. So your trampy friend Sage could steal my thoughts. Yes. Mm. Well, this is foreplay. What you caught? You're trying to bleed him up for vain. Don't you think it would be easier to hang him upside down? I'm perfectly capable of inflicting pain. Thank you very much. Oh, well, excuse me. It's not like I have any expertise in the matter. <laughs> you know why don't you just not leave me be and go and manage your witch? Hey, here you had a run-in with Buffy the Vampire. <laughs> yeah, I'll live. Dun, 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 dun. What are you doing here? Checking up on you. Right after I turned into a vampire, I killed someone. Yep. Stranger. I just killed him. And what's worse is I liked it. That's the beast. That is blood on my hands the nature too. of the vampire. And we all do. Yeah, but the blood on my hands is your father's. Yeah, it is. And maybe the guy I killed was someone's father too. Look, Look at that. Caroline. All I know is maybe she's my. I'm no better. Than one of my top vampires. My goodness. So I'm going to take a page from the Elena Gilbert handbook and choose to believe that you can be saved her self-reflection and awareness okay. of her own nature and the nature of what she is and the nature of humanity she might be the smartest damn character on the show Is that elena What are you doing? 
Rebecca will kill you. Heaven, hurry up and tell me what to do. This isn't real. He's hallucinating. Oh, Carefully. See the light shining off her? Almost like she's an angel there to save him. I don't buy it. No, this this is all fake. It's in his Look mind. At Look at me. Rebecca's messing with you. I am not going to leave you. Damn. Rebecca's messing with your mind. This is all just in your mind, you crazy. Yeah, okay, okay. I was starting to doubt myself. Oh, you bitch. That was her. It's not fun when someone messes with your thoughts, is it? You're knocking that sure dress out of the park, Rebecca. Well, oh, I hope God. you were nicer to Elena than you are to me. They're gonna kill Finn, but the bond will be broken. Shit. That's gonna, killing one of the originals is gonna piss Klaus off. To living life to the fullest. Revenge shot, steak. Oh, what the hell? Revenge. It's a trap. This show is so fucking good. I'm sorry. Oh, what a terrible plan. That's white oak, baby. Matt. Matt, you savage. You savage! You you need to kill Sage. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, and he's set. Oh my God, that's so awesome! But the link was broken. Son of a bitch, Bonnie! Why couldn't you be slower? Blood is separate. What have you done? Bonnie, where have you been? Klaus has Damon. Kla Klaus should be dead. They should all be dead. We just killed Finn. No, Elena. He forced me to do a spell that unlinked all the siblings. Son of a biscuit eater. Ding dong. Yeah. I knew she'd be pissed. I'm not here for you. I'm here for him. I don't think so. I had to kill him, Sage. Oh. You remember me. Good. Uh, then you know I like to go all 10 rounds. <coughs> oh. Sage. It's just like my game. He sired her. He's dead. The bloodline is severed. Holy. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Troy, help so me. So Troy's going to die too. How is Troy allowed to come in? What is happening to me? Your, your Methuselah, your antediluvian is dead. The founder of your bloodline is dead. Maybe Sage was so in love with Finn, she just died of sadness. Aw, it's no, romantic. <laughs> it's the blood, the bloodline. It has to be, think about it. Finn turned Sage, Sage turned Troy. They're all part of the same vampire bloodline that originated with Finn. Yes. Wait, so yes. when an original dies, every vampire turned from their bloodline dies along with them? It looks like. Because that would mean if the originals die, so do all of you. The entire vampire species would... Let's contact Bonnie. We need a new spell. We need a new spell, Bonnie. Can you sever us from their blood the way you did all the bro all the siblings from each other's? 
let's uh, separate that blood a little more out. I mean, this this, much this actually could be real. Klaus. Yeah, this is real. I'm here. You're gonna trade the white oak steaks? Oh, good. Well, I guess you know you can't kill them. What do you want, Devin? What are you doing? Eight steaks made of white oak. A part of Wickery Bridge that you forgot to burn. That's impossible. Actually, it's not. Finn's dead. <laughs> yeah. You killed my brother. Yes. Demon, in exchange for the last eight weapons, I can kill you. And how do I know there aren't any more left? Because there aren't. Let's be certain, shall we? Go. Home. <clears throat> So not eight, then. You really shouldn't have lied. I'll get to the other three. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or since you lied, maybe I'll just compel your brother to chew out his own tongue. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Do you really have no appreciation for me? I have given you someone to hate, to loathe, a target for all of your anger, so you don't have to turn it on yourself. I can't believe Finn is dead. Good riddance. He was an embarrassment, Rebecca. Yeah, he took it better than I thought he would. You're still your brother. Mind your tongue. Fine. Let's all say a prayer for Finn, who slept in a box longer than he lived as a man. <laughs> he was a lovesick <laughs> looking man. He's better off in death. That's funny. Ah, he's still alive. Yeah, for now. I need a steak. Try right behind these books here. A bookshelf? Really? At least I was trying to be clever about it. Where the hell is it? Ha. Uh, look harder, Rick. It's not here, Damon. Huh? Maybe you just forgot what shelf you put it on. No, I didn't forget it. It's, it's, uh, I put it right here, and the stick doesn't just vanish Did in the Caroline air. Did Caroline take it? Did you tell, Rick? I didn't tell anybody, Damon. I'm the only... Not Caroline. What? I'm the only one who knew about it, Damon. No. Your evil side hit it? Are you telling me that your vampire hating alter ego has a stake that could kill an entire line of vampires, possibly mine? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Son of a biscuit eater. <laughs> I'll be right back with you. That was The Vampire Diary Season 3, Episode 18. Amazing, amazing episode. So plot and action filled. Such a great pace. Things got real. All right. So, one... Finn, you're dead. Sucks for you. I called it, but it was more just speculation many episodes back that what if you kill an original, it severs his bloodline. And I only thought of that because of a game I play where that is the case in the game. I don't know which came first, the game or this, maybe both, but they had the same concept of the bloodline if you kill the founding member of a bloodline, it'll kill everyone that is from that bloodline. Such cool canon, cool theory, cool uh, lore of the vampires in this show. Absolutely love it. Uh, Sage, it was, I was sad to see you go, but uh, it, you know, it is what it is. Matt killed an original. Mr. Badass. All right. Someone need to put him on the council. I know he doesn't come from one of the uppity families, but uh, this dude should be on the council. He's killed an original vampire. I mean, that is a that is a feather in your cap <laughs> in a town that's being run by vampire haters who actually absolutely suck at their job. But yeah, so Finn is dead. Bad news is Bonnie... You couldn't have stalled for like another 15 minutes. She severed their bloodline link, so it only killed one, not all. 
which she needs to do a similar spell to unbind the childer from their sires. So if you can unbind the originals from each other, in theory, a similar spell could unbind those created from the bloodline from the original. And I don't know how any of that's going to work, but Bonnie, you need to get on it. Quit crying about your mom and get on it. All right. I feel you, Bonnie. Like I can relate to you in a lot of ways. Like I remember, you know, waiting for my dad when I was like nine years old. He said he was going to come get me. Haven't seen him in years. I'm waiting outside all day and he never shows. You know, the difference is you forgot that feeling and you let her back in where, where I, I learned that day. Like there are some people in your life or some people not in your life <laughs> who it's better that way. All right. Because they have no concept of anyone else. It's all about them. And, and you can't wait for those people to show up or to care because they don't, they've already proved it. You have to move on. Got me a little therapy session going on here today, but yeah, Bonnie, I completely get you. I completely get you. And I am sorry for you, but you need to write your mom off. She is trash. All right. She is trash. And I'm speaking solely about the character. I don't know the actors have no problem with her. Just got to throw that, throw that out there for some people. Some people will get really riled up, but, uh, the character is absolute trash. I don't like her. I hope she dies. You will hear more on my season three, uh, <laughs> my season three ranking whenever it comes out. But yeah, so I don't care about her. Then we have Damon, you know, he's being tortured by, I'm all over the place, by the way, all over the place. Then we have Rebecca torturing Damon. Why? Because he gave her a wonderful night of passion and fun. I mean, yes, he kind of used that to get into her mind and learn information. But Rebecca, be honest with yourself. You had the best night of your life with Sage and Damon. I guarantee it. Best night of your life. You were knocked out on that bed, girl. You were knocked out from some from some quality pipe land, okay? <laughs> so, so maybe you're just angry because you want some more and he ain't giving it to you. I don't know, because you really uh, took it to the next level. Uh, we have uh, we have Caroline, Caroline, my sweet Caroline, who is more self-reflective than any vampire on the show. She understands who she is, what she is. She understands the the frailty of humanity and the mind and who you are and how even the kindest people, if something influences them, they will do the most heinous things. They will embrace their shadow, their beast. And I read quite a bit of Carl Jung back in my college days. And I really do buy into the concept of the shadow that within each of us, is the potential to do extreme good and extreme evil. And the only way to truly control that and to keep it from manifesting in different ways is you must embrace that dark part of yourself. You must look into the eyes of the beast within your own soul. You must acknowledge that in the right situations, you can do the most heinous things imaginable. And once you realize that about yourself, about humanity as a whole, you can start to control it. You can start to, I will don't say suppress it. You can integrate it into yourself and you can almost use it when needed. You know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep in this. Uh, <laughs> shouldn't have brought up my dad getting some daddy issues here, but, uh, yeah. So, uh, Wow. <laughs> Great. Uh, so we had that and uh, what, what I got off on a tangent there. I lost my damn train of thought. Uh, we have Klaus being the usual jerk that he is, which I love. He, he doesn't care. He's the most powerful being on the planet other than some witches, obviously. Witches are OP. But he is, without having a channeling mojo, the most powerful creature on the planet. And with that comes a certain 
arrogance. And he didn't care about Finn dying, which really surprised me. I thought even though he didn't like Finn, it was still his brother. And, you know, the originals are all about family. Well, apparently, that's not the case with the ones they don't like. And I thought the same thing Rebecca thought. If you're trash-talking Finn after he's dead, what are you going to say about me? And he's like, I'm just going to make my own family that has to listen to me. A family of hybrids going to take Elena. We're going to get the hell out of here. Hot mess. Hot mess. Such a good show. And then they got to give all the stakes back to get Damon back. And they're trying to get them all rounded up. And a lark's dark side has hidden one. I guess the I guess the magical herb drink isn't working. I thought maybe Caroline took it to go kill someone for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I didn't think dark side would take it because he's drinking the disgusting drink. I think that's about sums up this episode, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I want to just keep watching. If I didn't have other videos to shoot today, I would probably binge the entire rest of season three. Today. Today. I would. I would. Maybe next week I'll go a little light on other episodes and do a double drop. Maybe a triple drop. We'll see. We will see how it goes. I make no promises, but... <laughs> I really want to see what happens with this show. So hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please continue to come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.